welcome back to my channel basically I'm doing a catch-up video today so I need to do some content because I got sent some lashes because this um, lady wanted me to do some content for her so obviously I have to make it on so I thought I would just do a catch-up video and just explain where the bloody hell have been, what's been going in. So I tried to film this video yesterday, but, and turns out the last time I actually like, apart from my birthday vlog, the last time I actually posted was um, April last year. So um, I feel like there's a lot to say. <laughs> what happened um i feel like i explained it in my birthday vlog but um i'm not gonna lie i don't actually remember like if i'm being completely frank with you so basically when i was doing youtube before um i was living at isaac's house and he basically has his own laptop and um camera lights etc etc so i was using that because i was living there over lockdown but obviously as soon as i moved out i couldn't well not obviously but i couldn't use it anymore because he basically needs it for work so he would only he doesn't need it every day which is why i was able to use it so the days that obviously he needed it for work he would take it to work and use it there and then the days that he didn't, I would use it at his. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm actually a bit disappointed in that Charlotte Till. I'm not gonna lie. Let me. A bit disappointed. It doesn't seem like it's making my skin radiant. That's why I couldn't use it anymore. So I bought my own camera, I've got my own lights. I've now purchased Un Laptop. So I'm basically on track for a comeback. However, there's an, I was having a mare yesterday because there's just not enough time in the day to like get everything you wanna get done, done. Like I literally don't understand how anyone is meant to you know live a normal not a normal life but like i want to go to the gym i want to do pilates i want to learn how to pole dance i want to journal every day i want to do like manifesting i want to meal prep I want to make sure I'm drinking enough water every day. You know, I don't know how to explain what I'm saying to you, but like, I just like, you know, how am I supposed to do all of that and film and edit and like keep some form of social life? Like, I just don't understand. Like, what? Just never sleep ever again, basically. Like, I just don't get it. So yeah, I've been having a bit of a mare about that. I mean, I'm sure the same as most of you, TikTok has made me realize that I absolutely do have ADHD and potentially autism to be fair. Um, just because, so I saw a TikTok literally like, I don't know, three weeks ago. And it basically was saying like, before 2013, also, I hopefully I'm leaving the products on the screen. If not, for my brows, I used the Got To Be Glued new brow gel. Um, I then used James Charles palette to fill them in with eyeshadow and I used the top, top right shade. I'm pretty sure it's called T. Um, carved out with the Fenty Concealer in the shade 360. Then I put Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter all over my face in the shade six um apparently the best way to apply it is put it on your face and then mix your foundation basically with it foundation i'm using is fenty shade 445 and i'm just using the juvia's place congo stick Cont did i say contour stick i don't know 
Anyway, I can see my posture in the bloody viewfinder and I look awful. Gonna put a bit of concealer on. Just a tad. Nothing too crazy. I kind of, I kind of dab it, really. Yes, TikTok has made me realise that it's very fucking likely that I have ADHD, if not autism. Oh yeah, back on track. So, apparently, um... It was only, it was, so before 2013, doctors were not allowed, literally not allowed, to diagnose people with ADHD and autism. Um, I'm not going to lie, I can't really remember the ins and outs, Google it if you're curious. But um, yeah, so basically she was saying like, if you have any sensory issues, which like, is the bane of my life most foods i don't like is because of the texture velvet for example literally makes me want to throw up don't touch me with it don't come anywhere near me with it it makes me feel physically sick yeah i don't know how to explain it there's just like loads of like first of all my object permanence don't even get me started because it literally my object permanence is disgusting. It's terrible. It's awful. It's a mess. It's a joke. It's any any of the above, all of the above, anything you can think of that would fit, it's that. Which object permanence basically means like if it's not in front of you, it doesn't exist in your brain. For example, I don't know about, I thought, well not, I don't know how to explain it because it's not that I thought it was normal, but I thought it wasn't a disorder, basically. Um, so, it, yeah, so for example, you know when you're like, oh, I need to, I don't know, I need to take the trash out. So you see the bin and you're like, I need to take that out. Let's say you're, I don't know, going upstairs to do your skincare. I don't know what you're doing, but do you know what I mean? Just for example, you're going upstairs to do your skincare. You come back downstairs. The fact that you even have a bin. Coconut Fix Plus. Um, the fact that you even have a bin has completely left your brain. Completely gone. That for me is the bane of my life it's actually like dreadful appalling disgraceful ridiculous i i honestly if there was anything i could change about myself it would be that like it's literally terror i honestly i can't i cannot begin to explain to you it's so bad it's so 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 bad um I'm just using the Kiko Mood Boost Perfecting Powder. Girl, you need to get yourself. You need to buy it because it's actually amazing. I don't know if you're paying much attention to what is going on on my face, but basically it's like, it's a pressed powder and it's got like little, I don't know how to explain it, it's got like shimmers in it, but it's not shimmery. And I don't really know how else to explain what I just said without it sounding like that doesn't make any sense at all. This is what it looks like. It's, oh, it's amazing. Also, I have discovered a new way to do my makeup, which is currently what I'm doing. So just use your eyes, watch along try it also these are these are microfiber sponges that i've i've literally bought from amazon so like i'm pretty sure i got like maybe like 12 for like for genuinely less than a tenner so it's because i really like the juno and co ones but um the juno and co ones are literally five pounds each um, maybe even six pounds, five ninety something, but maybe even six pounds, five, six pounds each, which is just like, I'm not made of money, do you know what I mean? Like, do I look like Elon Musk to you? So I always find that my brows, because I've got curly eyebrow hairs, my brows do love to just like do whatever the fuck they want, basically. So once I've like filled them in and done all that, 
nonsense. I like to um, go back in and just make sure that they are in fact where I placed them in the first place. What else is there to catch up on? Well, you should have seen the grease vlog. Oh dear. Still not edited as of today. Today is, I believe, the 10th of August. Indeed it is. We, it's the 10th of August. That's been so long. Okay, so our anniversary is uh, the 20th of June. And that was, we went there for five days. That was the middle day of our holiday. So, sorry, I'm just getting out an eye bogey. So, may have had the footage for a, a hot minute. This is what's so annoying. Like, I want to do YouTube because I love it. Like, I actually love it. I love the idea of like having an audience. I love the idea of having a platform. Like, I want that for myself, but also, like I want to be a gym girl, I want to, we go to Florida for two weeks in October, spending my birthday in Miami bro, I'm so sorry if you can't see me, but as I said, this is not a makeup tutorial, what have I used since, oh just this, okay it's, I'm sorry, I don't know what that is, I literally, I don't know if you can see that but there's no words left, zero, oh, I think it's from Primark actually, it's literally just a cold pencil, I mean, don't know what that is how old are you please not even how old are you please because cold pencils were like cold pencils were the staple of makeup before but if you don't know what a cold pencil is i mean i can't really help you i don't even know what's been going on to be fair i've been on three holidays this year i did so obviously Greece was one of them. We went from the 18th to the 22nd of June. The one before that, I went to Kalela with my two best friends. That was, I believe, 22nd to the, no, 27th to the 31st of May. Yes, I believe. And then before that, I went to Barcelona with um, Isaac and three or four of his friends. I feel like there was five of us but I also feel like there were six of us I'm not sure but I say his friends because like that just makes everything easier to like keep track of obviously they're my friends as well which is why I went on the holiday with them but it just makes it easier to understand kind of thing another holiday that's set in stone absolutely 100% going ahead is Florida we're going 10th of October to the 24th My birthday is the 23rd. Oh, also, I'm currently in my best friend's house. I am house slash fish sitting. So she's got two tanks of fish, obviously. And um, she's, going, she's gone on a family holiday for two weeks. Obviously, the fish need to be fed. They actually need to be fed twice a day, which I never knew that. I thought it was always once for fish, but evidently not. That's why I'm here. I mean, either way, they'd still need to be fed. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm basically, not basically, I'm living here until she's back. Just cause it makes it easier, really, for everyone involved. Like, having to travel here, oh dear. Having to travel here every single day to feed the fish is just, you know, a bit ridiculous unnecessary who wants to do that to be fair like it's just one train so um it's just one train from my house to hers it's literally six minutes on the train so like it's not that deep at all but like sometimes i'm at isaac's house sometimes i'm you know so it's just not really ideal to have to come here once a day to feed the fish rather than rather than just be here and feed them basically so that's what I've been doing two have died which thank the Lord Jesus she informed me so she was like 
Oh, just to let you know, like some of the fish have been dying. So like just check, like double check every couple of days. Like if they have, then that's fine. Like just um, fish them out <laughs> and um, flush them. Which is so funny because when she said that, I was like, to be fair, like I have been thinking like, is this a dead fish? And like, it was literally like a corpse with like literal skeleton with um some like literally the tiniest bit of skin still attached it was like the other fish had like eaten it or something i don't know what happened but honestly that fish was dead dead like there was absolutely no chance that that fish was even remotely alive to the point where i was genuinely like is that even a fish like is that is that like tank decor i don't even know i was like what is going on um so yeah that was quite sad to discover Ooh, that it was in fact a fish I did, I mean, I didn't bear witness to it dying, but you know, like it died in my care. So I feel partially responsible. But yeah, I've got to hurry up with this to be fair, because I need to go and collect my brothers from the station because they are, we're having a sleepover tonight. Going over that with the powder side of my beauty blender, just so it actually looks like my nose rather than like I've slapped a ton of makeup on it which you know that's what we always want I am sorry but if you say to me that your favorite step isn't nose contour you're okay. or you've already got a really nice nose which could be the case oh my God, what else do I want to talk about hi I I don't even know I literally don't even know. Let's have a look at my phone. Yeah, let me have a look at my snap maps and see what's happening. Isaac shaved. So, okay. Story time. Isaac's my barber, okay? Technically. I mean, not technically. He absolutely is. But he does my hair. He cuts my hair. He bleaches it. He dyes it for me. Obviously, I purchase um the utensils to do so but he does so thank you very much isaac so we normally do my hair we put a guard on the clippers and it's usually either four to six and then we'll do it at six or seven to nine and we'll do it at seven so he was i mean i'm sure you can like kind of see where this is going he was doing my hair he um took the guard off because obviously like the hair gets caught between like the guard and the actual clippers so he took the guard off um knocked all the excess hair out forgot to put the guard back on shaves into my head bob's your uncle fanny's your aunt now i'm fucking bald so i will insert a picture of what it looked like i'm not gonna lie I was traumatised, so I haven't got a picture of, like, immediately after. I've got a picture after, like, maybe, like, a week, a week and a half. So, like, it was shorter than what you're seeing, basically, is what I'm getting at. Um, he did it at a 0 0.5 millimetres, 0.5 millimetres, half a millimetre. That's bald, mate. Like... That is bald. It's not skinhead, but I'm sure I could pass for a skinhead because it was literally like there was no hair. Um, to be fair, like I could see like immediately he felt so bad, bless him. Um, but it was two days before my holiday when I went to Kalella, so yeah, a bit of an issue because. Thank God I purchased a wig. This was like a while before 
but it had it had arrived because for some reason all well not okay not all but all the wigs I've all the wigs and the wig sites that I've been directed to basically they come from China which is fine but obviously it just takes a hot minute to get here thank god my wig had arrived but obviously I was going to Spain so it was going to be hot so it's like you know obviously we're planning to like go in the pool go to the beach do this that and that and it's like well and it was a obviously you've seen a patch and I was like do you want me to do the whole head and at the time I was like absolutely not why would I want to like it was honestly like I couldn't even begin to explain to you I was like Isaac like you can't do that because I will ge genuinely genuinely feel so insecure if I literally have no hair and he was like oh do you want me to, do you want me to um, do a pattern in it a pattern a pattern how explain how explain how I would like to know because the what because of where it was positioned like a, a pattern was not in the question because I'm like well I don't know where you're gonna be like, oh should I give you a fake no I don't want to fucking fade thank you honestly all of his friends say to me all of the time all of the time all of the time about me having a fucking fade and i'm sick of it if i'm being completely honest with you i am sick of it i don't want a fade where the fuck is my beauty blender oh okay so this is the hack no oh it's overheating okay i'm just i hope it doesn't die basically you've used your beauty blender for the powder now spray your setting spray onto the powdered part of your beauty blender and then lightly everywhere trust first of all your makeup is going to last 85 years second of all second of all it's going to be so smooth you're going to sue me honestly like it's oh amazing 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 so i'm gonna turn my, my my computer i'm gonna turn my camera off let it cool down and then i will resume hello um i don't remember the last thing i did oh my set spray so since then um i have literally added highlighter which my favorite highlighter that i always use is sarazar um 24 karat gold infused highlighting powder in midas touch i'm still using that yes i probably had it for five years now um and then i put the lashes on so the lashes is the Lux lash in the style chloe now i do have a slight bone to pick because i think i look ridiculous look at these lashes please i don't even know if you can see like just look at them maybe from far away they don't look that bad i'm gonna put some gloss on um which will either just be like the fenty plain gloss or if i can't find that actually scrap that because i won't use that because i it's expensive um i'm just gonna use this um can you can you see what that says nk lip gel nk makeup lip gel surely if it's this way you can see that the same that's back to front but that's the right way round confusion yeah I mean that's the end of my makeup I guess I do need what's the time 6 45 so 
I'll probably end up taking some content when Isaac gets here just so that he can assist me. But other than that, I'm done. I feel like I didn't finish speaking about what I was speaking about. I'll probably put some more on so that it looks extra glossy, but for now, so that my lips aren't dry, I'm gonna just do that. Okay, so now I'm finished. I don't really know what else to say, to be fair. Oh, I think I was talking about Isaac shaving my head. Yeah, so basically, he shaved my head. It was a mess. Like, he was like, do you want me to do a pattern? No, I don't want you to do a pattern. I wanted you to do my hair. Yeah, so then I had to go on holiday. Luckily, it was at the front, so I could, like, wear a headband over it. Which, like, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't for other people at all because I literally don't care what other people think, but I hated it, so I didn't want to see it. And knowing that it's like, I don't know how to explain it because I don't care what other people think of me, but I don't want other people to see the things I don't like, if that makes sense. So like, for example, that bald patch, I feel insecure about that bald patch. I don't want to see that bald patch. Therefore, I don't want other people to see the bald patch. If someone turns around to me and is like, oh my God, I love your hair, it looks sexy. Like that's the best hair I've ever seen in my life. I'm going to be like, shut your lips. Don't care what you think. I think it looks terrible. Like your opinion doesn't affect my thoughts. So like, why are you speaking basically? I didn't, I didn't want it out at all. So that was a bit of a mess. But it took maybe like two, when did he do it? End of May, June, July, yeah, about two months to grow back, six to eight weeks to grow back properly. So between him shaving my head and this being done, he did my hair, but we did it, I think we did it three or four millimetres. Um, when we normally do it six or seven so obviously like that's not you know it's not like a world of difference but I can feel like I can f I felt the difference like I didn't have curls it was just like rather than it was like yeah so I just was not a fan at all but yeah what else has been going on let me have a look because I, gen like, I genuinely want to catch you up. I haven't got to leave the house until, like, mm, 20 minutes. We went pottery painting the other week. So I painted a plate. I'll insert pictures here. Isaac did a mug. I haven't got um, a new, uh, a new a picture slash video of his glossed and kilned mug. I'm sure, sorry, my battery died. I'm sure he can send me one. What else do we have? I started a new job. Um, I work from home almost full time. My manager likes me to go in once a week. Oh, I started getting my lashes done. Obviously, as you can see, I currently don't have my lashes done. But um, I got them done with a bit of pink in. I was living for it, to be fair. I do need to get them done again, but I just need to book the appointment. To be fair, catching you up on a whole year. Oh, we went to a strip club in Barcelona. It was 10 out of 10. It was 10 out of 10. Yes. Oh, I started going to PT in September. So um, I really wanted to start going to the gym. But actually, I felt really, really anxious about going to the gym. I, like, borderline couldn't do it. Like, I don't want to say, like, I couldn't do it because, like, Physically, I was able to go to the gym. Like, I could walk into a gym. Um, but, like, I just felt so anxious. Like, sometimes I would just leave after, like, 30 seconds of even. Like, I remember the first time I tried, I didn't even get... I didn't even get within 200 metres of the gym before I started having a panic attack. So I was like, if I start going to PT, which was in um, her garage, that might give me a bit more confidence. I also um, went to the gym a few times with Isaac. Um, and then I started going like religiously. I was there six days a week for like three months straight. And then 
I went to Barcelona and then I basically haven't been since. So I need to start going back because we've got Florida in October and obviously like, well not obviously, but I'm very much insecure about my body at the moment. So I've got two rolls in the back, which I never used to have. This one's new. Um, my belly is very much like not toned my boobs have started sagging like it is a bit of a mess so yeah i'm not i'm not feeling very confident at the moment and i it's not obviously like it's not all about your body and blah blah blah, blah, blah. but when you look better when you when you feel like you look good you feel better that's just how life goes so and I don't want to go on holiday and think, oh, I don't want to wear that because my belly looks weird. Or I don't want to wear that because, like, oh, my back rolls. Or I don't want to wear that. Because, do you know what I mean? Like, I don't, I want to go and I want to have, like, a really, really good time. And I don't want my body to get in the way of that. So, yeah, I've made myself a workout plan. Like, I haven't completely finished it yet, but I've made myself a workout plan. I'm going to make myself a meal plan. Uh... last year obviously and um, we went to a pub and there was like it was like borderline food challenge like seriously there was a lot of food again I'll insert a picture here so there was like a beef steak a pork steak a sausage gammon black pudding two tomatoes not onion rings cheese rings an egg peas chips and that sauce that you put on, what is it called? Black pepper sauce, maybe? That you put on steaks anyway. Isaac got that, his dad got that. Isaac demolished it, his dad was defeated by it. Isaac proceeded to then have a pudding after. So yes, my boyfriend is a fat man. Um, in spirit, obviously, he's not actually a fat man, but like, in his soul is a fat man. What else is there to add? I feel like there's I feel like there's nothing exciting to be fair. I want to get more tattoos. Oh, I might do a tattoo vlog actually when I go and get them because I'm going to get like four at once. So yes. What else do we have? I'm just going through my Snapchat memories to see if there's anything worth noting i don't think there is there we go april 21 so that is all folks okay i've got to order the schnass the schnass the Can I order for a collection, please? Um, can I have crispy, crispy aromatic Mongolian lamb? King prawn chow mein. Prawn balls. Sweet and sour chicken Hong Kong style. Can I have that with only pineapple, please? No pineapple. Only pineapple. Only pineapple. Yeah. And then, can I also have some egg fried rice? One egg fried rice. 
Yeah. Yeah. Anything else? That's everything. Who are your name, please? Um, Isaac. Sorry? Isaac. Isaac, yeah. Okay. Oh, who is it? I think we're about 10 to 8. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I can do that. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. If you don't want to Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, what else is there to catch you up on? I don't know. Let me have this snack. I bought a healthy snack for myself and I haven't eaten any of them. Mom. Also, I really... <gasps> I'm going to get a collectible card. Yes. Mine is a scorpion card 52 out of 60 do you know what i am a scorpio well i'm a scorpio oh my god there's two in here i'm a scorpio libra cusp so maybe this is the universe telling me i'm more of a scorpio um a scorpion has a super sting on its tail which protects it from other bigger creatures oh that's so cool I love how I actually care about that. So I've got myself some real marvellous mango yo-yos. No added sugar, high in fibre. Um, yeah, let's just chat some shit. What are you saying to me? How are you? Um, I've discovered... So, I like to ask people, A, what is your favourite song ever? Like... Yet. I know you might have a favourite song of like right now but like what's your favourite song ever if you have one and is there a song that you know every single word to like you can literally word for word no stops every single word you can sing rap whatever you want to say I figured out recently my song is Take Me To Church by Hosier that I can sing start to finish no stops my favorite song of all time i've discovered recently recently like recently in the grand scheme of my life basically it is called stand out and it is by um nux featuring lol Kana and vena 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 sounds like this that was like had a um that was like really surreal is surreal the word i don't know if surreal is the word but i was very like wow like we've been together for five years what the hell like Actually, like, when you... Pardon? Five years. And I'm 22. Like, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Do you not think that's crazy? Five years and I'm 22. Like, we met when we were 16. I met him when I was 16. We knew each other. I calculated it the other day. September, October, November, December, January, February, March... June. What the fuck, please? <laughs> September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June. So we started talking in May and spent every single day together until June when he asked me out. So eight, nine months, we knew each other before it was a thing. How crazy is that? And then we've and now we've been together five years. What? What? I just don't understand. Honestly, how have I put up with him for five years? Who knows? Not me. Pain in me, Aris. I've got mango 
Mango yo-yo in my mouth, in my teeth. <sighs> I need to tidy this living room. Do you want to see the makeshift tripod that you're on? <laughs> you were sat there. A girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. Um, yeah, so we're having a sleepover this eve. My brother, well, both of them actually. So they're three, their birthdays are three days apart. So Jacob, who is now 13, had his birthday on the 3rd of April. What is wrong with me today? Had his birthday on the 3rd of August. And Tale, who is now eight, had his birthday on the 6th of August. So we went to, what did we do for Jacob's birthday? Oh, we went to Nando's. He's supposed to have a gaming van, but um, I booked it and they just didn't turn up basically. Um, they was like, oh, your booking is confirmed. We were saying, your booking confirmation. Did I get a booking confirmation? Did I fuck? So I was like calling them, calling them, calling them, calling them for three days. I didn't get a text. I called, text, emailed, and left a voicemail. I didn't get a reply. So luckily they didn't take any money or anything. Um, yeah, so he was supposed to do that as his activity, but obviously it couldn't. Um, I don't know if that was rebooked actually obviously with a different company but I'm not sure um yeah then we went to Nando's and we went to Creams and then for Tyler's birthday we went bowling we played in the arcade um I won because I'm too good um and then we went to Cosmo which is like an all-you-can-eat worldwide buffet kind of thing so there's like a roast Chinese Pizza, sushi, Indian, typical English food. Like, there's the food isn't great quality, but I mean, it's not gross. Do you know what I mean? It does the job. Um, yes, yeah, so we did that and then obviously had dessert while we were there. Uh, yeah, you've never met my brothers before. Um, yeah, so, yeah, basically, I should get that going, <laughs> basically. I stand out like a black man in Kazakhstan. What a tune. When do I need to leave? Shit! I need to leave now. Uh, he won't be having dinner with me today, which frankly I think is quite rude.